Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about XOR and equivalence function. XOR is an abbreviation of exclusive OR. And these two functions, XOR and equivalence, are complement of each other. XOR is complement of equivalence and equivalence is the complement of XOR. Equivalence function, since it is the complement of uh, XOR function, it is also called exclusive NOR function because XOR is an abbreviation of exclusive OR. Now, this is the gate which implements exclusive OR function, right? And it is the truth table. Here X and Y are the input and F is the output and it is the truth table for the exclusive OR function F. And X and Y are the variable, binary variables involved in this function F. Now, the value of this function will be 1 if only one of them either x or y is equal to 1 right if both are 0 then the value of function would be 0 if both are 1 then also the value of the function would be 0 so we can say that the function f that is the xor function is equal to x not y plus x y not that is the value of the function would be 1 if either this term equals to 1 or if this term equals to 1 x not y would be equal to 1 when x equals to 0 and y equals to 1 so and uh, x y not would be 1 when x equals to 1 and y equals to 0 right so its value will only be uh, will be equal to 1 only when either x equals to 0 and y equals to 1 or y equals to 0 and x equals to 1. This is the operator symbol for this function exclusive or function. Right? Now next is the equivalence or exclusive nor function. Now this is the logic gate which implements this function. Here x and y are the inputs of this gate. f is the output. Since it is the complement of exclusive or function. So it would be the sum of those min terms which are not present in this function. That is x, y and they are one of the min term is x, y. And uh, second main term is x0 and y0. So it is the sum of two main terms x, y. And second main term is x0 and y0. This is its operator symbol. Now let us see its truth table. Its value, the value of function f, that is uh, the equivalence function, would be 1 if the value of involved variables uh, x and y both have value 0 or both have value 1. XOR and equivalence functions are associative. It means when x uh, result of x xor y is xor with z it is equal to when x is xor with the result of y xor z now look at this logic diagram it represents that result of x xor y is xor with z and look at this diagram. This diagram represents that x is XOR with 
द रिजल्ट ऑफ वाई एक्सॉर सेट राइट एंड दीज टू लॉजिक सर्किट्स राइट दीज टू सर्किट्स विल गिव सेम आउटपुट फॉर सेम इनपुट वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स वाई एंड सेट बिकॉज एक्सॉर इज एन एसोशिएटिव फंक्शन नाउ this is the xor gate for three inputs x y and z right the output of this gate would be x xor y xor z so these three circuits this one this one and this one these three are equivalent because these three circuits will give the same output for the same values of x y and z right here i have mentioned it right now this is the truth table for xor function f now xor is an odd function the value of this function will be 1 when input variables have odd numbers of 1 look at in the last row here the value of x y and z is 1 so input variables have 3 1 that is odd number of 1 so the value of function f is 1 now look at here here there is only 1 one right that is odd number of ones in input variable so the value of function will be one here look at here 0 1 1 there are two ones in input variables that is even number of ones so the value of function f is zero now if we this function equivalence function this function is the complement of xor function it is an even function its value will be 1 if input variables have even number of zeros thank you very much